Hello, I'm Dr. Frank Wang. I am a dermatologist and an associate professor in the Department of Dermatology at the University of Michigan in uh, Ann Arbor, Michigan. I am the lead investigator of a recent study examining changes in collagen and stretch marks that develop during pregnancy. The study was performed in collaboration with the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology at the University of Michigan. As to why we perform this study, stretch marks are very common. They affect innumerable individuals. Uh, but I think it's surprising that we really still do not understand how or why these lesions develop. And as such, we undertook this study to examine the molecular changes that occur in early stretch marks that are still reddish. And the hope here was to use our findings uh, to explain the ultimate appearance of mature stretch marks, which appear white, uh, shiny, and depressed. Uh, another goal was to gain insight into uh, potential ways of preventing and treating stretch marks. And finally, the study was inspired in part by my wife, who was expecting our first child at the time. As to how we did this study, we took skin samples from stretch mark lesions located on the abdomen of women who were pregnant. Our participants were in the second and third trimester, and there were about 30 women enrolled in our study. All of them had early stretch mark lesions that were still reddish. Now, with these skin samples, we performed a number of laboratory assays to examine the appearance, organization, and production of collagen. Collagen is the main protein in the skin that provides strength and support. And for further analysis and comparison, we also took skin samples from stretch mark lesions after delivery. Our main findings included the observation that collagen in the dermal layer appeared vastly disrupted in stretch mark lesions, and in particular, collagen bundles, which are normally densely packed and interwoven together, appeared markedly separated, almost as if uh, pulled apart by extreme stretching of the skin. This separation of collagen bundles persisted in stretch mark lesions even after delivery. We also found that the skin attempts to repair these damaged or separated collagen bundles by making more collagen, but the repair process is not completely successful. The new collagen that is formed is very disorganized and presumably unable to provide support. And these findings likely explain why it is that mature stretch mark lesions appear depressed and lacking in structural support. In terms of relevance to dermatologists and patients, firstly, our findings provide insight into how stretch marks develop at the molecular level. Secondly, our findings suggest that methods of preserving normal organization and structure of collagen may be helpful for uh, preventing the development of new lesions. And finally, once stretch marks have formed, treatments that are aimed specifically at stimulating the production of new and normal collagen, that is collagen that is organized properly, uh, may improve the appearance of uh, lesions. And to our knowledge, current products for stretch marks really are not effective and don't work by rebuilding collagen. In summary, our findings could ultimately benefit numerous patients who are concerned about stretch marks by providing strategies for preventing and treating lesions.